Hello from Gardening at Duenza and this video is coming to you from the Portuguese island of the Azores and it's one in a series and this is a video about an impromptu stop we made on a road as we were driving along and where we found this most amazing garden called Ribeira dos Caldeiros. Now here I'm giving you a pan of the part of the road where we spied this wonderful garden and as you can see it's on two sides of the road that side there has a part of the garden and a waterfall and the other side has a more formal part of the garden this is just a view of the landscape around the area where this fantastic garden was and you can see that it extends up many many levels okay so first up we're going into the more formal part of the garden and there we see the placards just showing us where it is and this is very much a garden on a slope because we came in at the top but the whole thing sloped down 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 and there were lots of um, tree ferns and gingers and interesting planting and multiple waterfalls multiple waterfalls so the main waterfalls were on the other side of the road but this part of the garden had lots of waterfalls too now what we're looking at here is what they call a levada. Oh, sorry, waterfall stop. <laughs> the levada is this drill-like structure which is used to irrigate the land and you can see those in the island of Madeira as well. Very important for horticulture. I'm just giving you a look at how far down the garden goes and we'll be going down there in a minute. Just bear with me. Okay, so down the steps we go and the camera is going to get a bit wobbly, I warn you. So just bear with me and we'll get down there in a while. Now there on the right you can see some bulbs of Amaryllis belladonna, the pink ones there that come up before the leaves. And now, well that was quick, we're right down at the bottom and there's a wonderful pool here with a waterfall and you could bathe in that pool, pool as well if you brought your togs along. In fact, Many gardens that I saw in the Azores had places to bathe in them and it was very civilised too, all the changing rooms and everything. I must say I never saw as many different colour waters as I did when I was in the Azores. They ranged from this one quite green to brown to clear and uh, normally, well, you wouldn't dream of going swimming in water that was brown but very often in the Azores it indicated that there were lots of minerals in it so it was excellent for your skin. And giving you just a pan here of the gardens and there now we're over the other side of the road now and that's the main waterfall that beckons you in from the road and you can see they've kind of built the garden around it but we're going to have to go down there to cross over the water and get at the far side of the garden. But I don't think you'll find it's a garden over the far side, it's more like a hike and this is where it really gets interesting. Stay tuned and you'll see more about this little mini hike that I'm about to make over the other side of the, the water there. And in fact on this hike I found one of the few plants that I brought back from the Azores. So you're going to see where I came across it and how I collected it. So we're going to leave behind this very cultivated part of the garden and the amazing waterfall and I have to tell you that the sound of that rushing water really was impressive. But we're going to see better just a few yards along. Okay, wobble alert, we're about to go across the water on the stepping stones, so my ability to hold the camera and stop myself from falling headlong into the water is going to be compromised. But, you, <laughs> we made it. Here we are on the other side.
And this path is the beginning of the mini hike we're just about to make and just a pan around at the amazing planting that's all around. Now this is pretty wild stuff. They're not indigenous plants to the Azores but let's just say attractive foreigners that have invaded. Lots of gingers and this colocasia that very often is grown as a food crop um, by farmers in fields. Oh, look! <laughs> wow! So I'm walking along beside a river and if we look past this tree fern you can see what's beckoning at the very end of the path and yes it's another waterfall but this one it's going to be even more magnificent than the previous ones. I spotted a sign over the other side of the water and if we zoom in we can see what it says danger road closed well it just looks like a mudslide to me it doesn't look like any kind of a road whatsoever and this is the end of the road this is where the waterfall begins flanked by lots and lots of gingers and there it is in all its beauty. I think the gingers beside it give it that very subtropical look. But what have we here? It looks like somebody's been doing a spot of gardening. And all of these gingers have been just macheted down, just cleared, just to clear the path, I guess. Most of them have been hacked to bits, but these two have solid new shoots. So that big one is definitely coming home with me in my suitcase. And the little one is for my friend. She didn't want to come on the hike, so it's good I bring her back something. And this is the ginger, Hedicium gardnerianum. The scent, it's absolutely amazing. Like the most beautiful perfume, very, very sweet. Can't wait to see it flower in my garden. And now it's time to turn tail and head back, back to the garden and the car and my friend. Okay, so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this garden visit and mini hike and that you well appreciate the sights and the sounds that I brought to you. Thanks very much for watching and do check back for lots more gardening fun, but also a good few more Azores videos. Bye.